I don't know how the quality looks because I'm filming this uh, live stream on my phone, but I quickly wanted to come on here and talk to y'all, see what's up. Grant's traded. Let me see what y'all talking about in the comments. I want to get y'all take. I just posted a video on this. Um, let me pull up the chat real quick. Um, super chat, top chat, live chat. Okay, so um, yeah, I just wanted to quickly come on here and talk to y'all about this whole thing. This is crazy. I didn't expect this to happen, man, because you know I, I kept on going back to that clip because I used it in multiple videos where I was talking about how I didn't think it was going to happen because Troy said, we're not trading him. We're not trading him unless we get something crazy. And then today, just like a few days ago at freaking Christian Wood, you know, these players who are on average to below average teams get traded for virtually nothing. That is what it is right now. Let's see what y'all talking about in the comments. We got robbed, clearing up cap space for Aiden. Um, told you. Yeah, Ellen, you definitely told me, man. You told me months ago about this. Barely bones. Yeah, the deal, I think the deal itself is pretty bad. But we have to wait and see what Troy has in store, you know. I'm not going to completely give up on a guy because he makes one bad move. I'm going to see what else, you know, he has up in store. Yeah, I don't know, man. We have to see. I I'm going to keep the faith in Troy, man. It's, it's no way that he's going to, you know, just make a move like trading Grant and not have anything else, you know, in his back pocket. Pistons got fleeced. This deal is bad, but we shall see what else he has. Bro, I wish he got the blazers first this year that's true man and i don't even think we got the blazers pick i think we got a 2025 milwaukee bucks pick which you know the bucks should still be good in three years so that pick itself i don't really know troy better have bigger plans yes he has to and if he doesn't you know at the end of this offseason if he hasn't signed anyone or made any big moves this deal will be something that i will keep in my mind when it comes to continuing to evaluate Troy Weaver because right now he's been pretty good. But if this deal becomes an L, that's bad for Troy's track record, man. Bro, what the heck was that? <laughs> I don't know, man. Man, we traded Grant for peanuts, man. And this is why I kept on, when I kept on talking to y'all, I seen so many Grant fans talking, of, I mean, not Grant fans, so many people who were anti-Grant. I was like, if we trade him, we're not gonna get much for him. He doesn't have that much value. Lo and behold, you only get a 2025 first round pick for Grant. So I kept on saying it, man. Y'all wanted Sadiq Bay to go all out and have all the opportunity in the world and, you know, take a lot of shot attempts. Now you got it. Sadiq Bay is going to have to step up and whoever we get in the draft, he's going to get a lot of opportunity as well. But um, let me get back to the chat. Um, and we got space for the summer. Love this move. Yeah, I think we're going to have, I saw it on Twitter, $43 million available in cap space. I ain't even see. I was at work. Who we get? We got no one. We got a 2025 first round pick. Good trade, in my opinion. I don't think the trade itself is good. I think it's a bad trade. Um, 56 million in caps. 56. I saw 42 or 43, something like that. Sheesh. If we have 56, we could probably possibly get two of the top guys available. We actually thought we had a smart GM for once. Pain. We still may have one, man. I'm not going to give up on him, you know, especially what he did in OKC before he came to Detroit. Um, man, that was a dumbass trade. Could have gotten more, though. Can't have nothing in Detroit. Liberty season? Yeah, Isaiah Liberty. He's going to have to, you know, a lot of shot attempts as well. A lot more minutes next season. Giannis better leave the Bucks shaking my head. Man, F the NBA. Gotta give damn crybaby ass what he want. I don't know who got traded. Um, just Grant. He was the only one in the deal. And then quickly back to uh, what my man said about the Portland Trailblazers. They're definitely going to be, you know, back in that playoff hunt next year. And Troy, we trust. I still believe in it, man. I believe in the plan. Um, if we don't get Poison Ivy, I'm going to be mad. You're talking about um, Jaden Ivy at number five. We got to see what Sacramento does. You know, Sac the Sacramento Kings are a very unpredictable franchise you know i never would have expected them to pick up someone like tyrese halliburton and then give up on him what was it one year or two years later like i would have never expected that so our franchise fate at number five is definitely going to be in the hands of the sacramento kings which is scary it's definitely scary um i'm happy we traded him but i need to see what we got 53 million in cap space yeah that's wild we could get two of the top guys instead of you know just one this is a Jedi mind trick move. We definitely have some um, pieces coming in the draft or this summer. This must mean we are going after big names in free agency. Yes, that's it has to, unless Troy is just an idiot. Um, bro, what's up, D um, downtown Deuce? Weaver probably did right for Grant. 
I wonder how Grant feels right now since he's going to um to Portland. You know, going from a team like the Pistons. Well, I guess Portland was a bad team last year as well, but in the past they've been, you know, consistent playoff teams um, for the past 10 years, whereas the Pistons, you know, we've been bottom feeders for most of the um, our previous runs. Um, it's protected one through four, pretty sure, though. I mean, even if that's the case, it's still, you know, that player, I'm sure he's not going to equate to what Grant has become in the NBA. Um, Miles Bridges or Aiton, let's go. Yeah, I forgot about Miles Bridges. He's another guy who will possibly be able to go after but um what's that called the charlotte hornets they'll probably match his deal um blazers got a steal we got a 36 pick two so we got two picks i didn't know that i only saw the one and then i saw a few second round picks but those don't really matter to me right now because you know we already have saving lee look garza isaiah, isaiah livers second round picks mean nothing to me right now that 24 through 28 is reportedly what Jeremy wants next year. Detroit dodged that. Yeah, that's another point that I didn't mention in the video. We did have to... Did somebody just start up a car? And I think my man's Kenyatta is here. I don't know. But, um... What was I saying? Uh, dang, I just lost my train of thought. I was just about to say something real fire, too. Um... Oh, yeah, the extension thing. Um, apparently, Grant wanted an, a, an extension, a four-year deal with the Pistons, and right now, we don't have to pay that. We'll be able to use that money to re-sign Killian Hayes, K. Cunningham, I mean, not K. Cunningham, Killian Hayes, Isaiah Stewart, and Saban Lee. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I'm not going nowhere. Hello. I'm doing good. It's one of my friends. This is a day in the life, y'all. What's good, my bro? Did you see the trade? I said, did you see the trade? I'm about to go watch this right now. I just got oh, yeah. I'm live streaming. Are you watching it? You got anything to say streaming? to my people? Yeah. What up? <laughs> huh? Hold on. Give me a second, y'all. Uh, right now, 222. <laughs> James Clarkson. We were robbed. I don't think we were robbed, bro. <laughs> I just got to say. What you got to say, man? What you mean? Oh. I mean, if we get somebody like, you know who Miles Bridges is? Yeah. Or DeAndre Ayton, one of the two. If we can get one of them, then this deal kind of makes sense to me. And if we can't, then it's an L. That's how I feel about it. Let me see. What about Bagley? I didn't even think about Marvin Bagley. But I'm about to put this down, though. <laughs> Give me one second, y'all. <sighs> All right, I'm back, y'all. I'm back. Let me see what y'all talk about in the chat. Uh, thank you again, Joshua, for the donation. I saw it. It was a $2 donation. I appreciate that. Um, Try to get Mason Plumlee back. Mason Plumlee. I wonder what he's doing right now. Uh, Let me see. We need a grant to trade for Aiden. Aiden is a restricted free agent. Need a sign and trade. Hmm, that's a good point. We could have used... We could have used Grant as a sign and trade to get Aiden. But at the same time, does Phoenix still want DeAndre Aiden? We don't know. They might not even try to match him, you know? Um, let's go. If Grant wait. Let's go. If Grant to sign Bagley at power forward and another center. Get Aiden and Bridges question mark. We got the money to now. We still have people to trade. Who else do we have to trade on the roster? Um Corey Joseph, he just resigned the other day. Um, let me think. Frank Jackson, I guess. I don't know. Aiden has to agree to sign with whatever team tried to sign him. If he do not, he is a free agent and can go anywhere he likes. Thank you for um, dropping the knowledge, D-Buck. Appreciate that. Ivy and Duran on the way. <laughs> we shall see. Kelly. Oh, yeah, Kelly Olenek. He's, he's somebody I didn't even think of. 
Um, you know, in our first year, we traded Mason Plumley after his initial season. So maybe we do the same with um, Kelly Olenek. Are we keeping Diallo around? Um, I mean, I don't see a reason not to. He's a cool bench piece. Uh, the 25 draft class is going to be one of the best in a long time. You think so? Anything is possible. I obviously don't know these prospects. I mean, I don't know what their futures will be. But as of right now, I don't really see any superstars. You know, I see a bunch of players who can be pretty good. You know, maybe some all-stars. But in my personal opinion, this is not the strongest draft class I've seen. Um, Kelly is at 12 million. And one thing I will say about Kelly Olenek is that you know, he did battle through injuries this season, and then once he came back, he was rusty. And I feel like part of the reason why he was rusty is due to that injury. So, you know, if we could have a healthy Kelly Olenek next season, should we give him a shot, you know, instead of trading him? Uh, Jaden Ivey, a superstar? Nah, I don't see a superstar. I see possibly an all-star, but not a superstar, bro. Watch out for the... Oh, you said the 25 draft class. I thought you were talking about this one. My bad. Who come out in 2025? Mikey Williams? Um, who else come out? Uh, Bronny James, 2025? I don't know. Um, Keegan Murray confirmed, question mark. It's all up to Sacramento, bro. That's a crazy franchise who've made, you know, I, I like the Kings, but it's a crazy franchise. I never know what that organization is going to do. Um, do you believe Bagley will be our um, starting power forward? We got to see who else we signed before I could make an assumption like that. But I guess I'm going to go on a little walk now and talk to y'all. Um, Grant was traded to Portland because he wanted to be there. I don't know if he necessarily wanted to be in Portland because from everything that I've seen, Grant wanted to be in Detroit. He liked it here. He wanted to, you know, take the challenge of, quote unquote, being the man. Or at least that's what he thought before Kay Cunningham got here. Um, Weaver did the right thing. We shall see if he does anything else this offseason. Bro, if we move Kelly, we could have $61 million. That's NBA 2K level craziness right there. Um, oh, Imani Bates, he comes out in 2025. I like Imani Bates. I know a lot of people um, criticized him for his play last year. But I feel like, you know, what was he, 17 years old playing college basketball? I mean, most athletes are going to struggle if you do that. If you took me at 17 years old and put me over at, um, at ESPN, I would struggle as well, you know? So... Imani Bates, I think he's fire. Um, are you hearing that they, that the Pistons may trade the fifth pick to the Knicks? What are we, we going to get in return for that? I haven't seen any of the rumors. I was actually out camping um, earlier today, and I got back. And I'm going to try to get a stream, um, another stream, either later tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. I got to see what's, what I'm going to be doing. Um, Kelly is also now our highest played player. Laugh out loud. That's crazy. Who is our longest tenured Piston? Is it still Killian Hayes? It might be him. Um, that could be Miles and Aiton. I want to see some other names. I know people keep saying Miles Bridges, DeAndre Aiton, but I want to see what else is up. Hit the like button. I think we only got like 50 something likes. We got 200 people in here. Come on now. I was out here chilling. Walking around now, going on a little walk, talking pistons with y'all, you know? Come on, like the video, man. Um, Jeremy Grant is way too old now. Not worth the seventh pick. Grant, he's only, what, 28 years old? That's not old at all. He's in his peak. Um, Taylor Horton Tucker and Kendrick Nunn plus the 2027 first-round pick is greater than the late 2025 first round pick. Oh, so you're saying we should have accepted the Lakers deal rather than this Portland deal. Um, I mean, I guess, but Kendrick Nunn doesn't really do it for me. And then Taylor Horton Tucker is meh as well for me. Killian Hayes. Y'all need to chill. We have so much money. That is true. All y'all trust in Weaver 100% laughing. I mean... It's not 100% trust, you know. Killian Hayes, we still have to wait and see what Killian is going to be. We don't know if he's going to be a bust or a successful bench player or even a starter, work himself back up to that starting role. So when it comes to Troy Weaver, it's not like he's, you know, 100% perfect. He's made some good moves. He's made some bad moves. But I feel like he's made enough right decisions to where I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and wait and see what else he does. Uh, sign Bagley. Oh, sign Bradley, Bill, and Aiden. 
that's interesting. Bradley Bill, I haven't seen that one. You know, a backcourt with Tay Cunningham. I just don't know how um, effective Bradley Bill is on defense. I know a lot about his offensive game, but I don't really know much about his defense, and I don't know about his work ethic. Um, they said the Knicks offer any of these players, Reddish, Toppin, Emmanuel Quickly, their 10th pick for our 5th pick. I don't want to give up the 5th pick right now. I want to keep that pick and try to take one of these players. I mean, if it was up to me, I would have got Ben Mathern, but... That's whatever. Um, we needed scores and we trade our best one. Not good. That is true. Troy kept on talking about the Pistons need to add scoring. It doesn't matter if it's a two point mid range free throw three pointer. It doesn't matter. We need to add scoring. But um, right now, it kind of seems like that's a little bit cap, man. Um, you know, a lot of things that Troy said, it feels like, you know, he kind of lied to the Pistons fan base. Killian, unfortunately, um, a misstep but some of that could be him dealing with those annoying injuries and killian hayes is only 20 years old right now so it's not necessarily a misstep you know we're still waiting to see waiting to see what he can become k cunningham right now probably pissed i don't think so because i saw his cousin and his personal trainer um talking on twitter about you know we're about to make a big move so maybe k knows something that we don't know right now um we are staying young with a few veterans. They getting rid of they getting rid of Bagley. I don't know. Um, and I appreciate the two hundred the two hundred people in here right now. Sorry for the audio. It's a bit loud outside right now. Um, Bagley probably gonna be gone. So y'all thinking Marvin Bagley is gonna get traded or something like that, or we're just not gonna extend him? Cause I like Marvin Bagley. Troy Weaver is a man of the player. He wasn't going to put Grant in a bad situation. I'm sure Grant wanted to go, I mean, to play with his Olympic teammates. So he didn't want to do um, bad by Jeremy. Um, I guess I could see where you're coming from. You're basically saying that Troy Weaver is pro player. He doesn't want to put a player in a bad position. So he prioritized that instead of prioritizing um, the best for the Pistons franchise. I mean, that's kind of hard to tell because we don't really know troy weaver like that like we've seen him in interviews and stuff but obviously troy weaver has been lying to us so i can't really make that assumption you know um come on guys you got to believe this isn't the only part of the deal that's what i'm saying man initially when i first saw i was like dang this looks terrible but then again at the same time i was like maybe he's got something up his sleeve you know that's what i'm thinking there's no way an intelligent human being can just trade grant for a first round pick and not have anything else in store. You know what I'm saying? So I I still have faith in Troy, man. I still got faith in him. I want Aiton over Bagley way better. I mean, I think everyone can admit that uh, DeAndre Aiton is a way better player than Marvin Bagley. It's just, you know, before this deal, we were kind of concerned about the cost. But now when you got this much money, we don't care about the cost no more. We signing everybody or whoever wants to come here. Um, what about Zach Levine and Marvin Bagley? Zach Levine, his contract did just expire, I think, with the Bulls, but will he stay there or will he be looking for another team? And if he goes to another team, um, Zach Levine, will he either prioritize getting money or does he want to go to a winning team? If he wants money, then I could see him going to a place like Detroit. But if he wants to go to a winning team, he's most likely not going to come here, even if we did also get DeAndre Ayton. Because with Ayton, and well, I don't know. Aiden, Zach Levine, and Kay Cunningham will be pretty nice. Um, Joe Polo, you have to trust Troy Weaver. He has a plan. They swap two round picks in the upcoming draft. Like I said, man, I still got faith in him. It's just this deal is kind of questionable right now because we can't see the full picture, you know? Um, let me see. What if they sign and trade Isaiah Stewart and this pick to get Aiden from the Suns? That plus this year's pick would be gas um i love isaiah stewart but i would have no problem if we were to deal him for deandre ayton and then have marvin bagley be in a big man position y'all hear that plane it's somewhere out here <laughs> uh donovan mitchell we ain't getting donovan mitchell bro he's he's gonna be a utah jazz for life ayton is not coming to detroit i've seen crazier things bro you know i i know that pistons fans don't like me bringing his name up but Josh Smith, before he came to Detroit, was pretty good. Um, Grant, he wasn't good before he came here, but 
He was good on the Pistons, averaged 20 points per game. Derrick Rose was a baller. He signed with the Detroit Pistons. So, you know, you never know what these guys will do. Money always talks. And if you pay a player X amount of dollars, he may or may not come to your team. You know, these dudes, they have families that they got to feed, you know, bills they got to pay. They'll be willing to do um, a lot of things for money. Uh, they have all the cap space for nothing then. What's our cap space? Oh, what's our cap space now? I've seen multiple numbers. On Twitter, initially, I saw $42 million. But then I saw somebody in the chat say um, $53 million, And then they also said if we get rid of Kelly Olenek, we could have up to $60 million in cap space, which is crazy. Um, whoever they get is not going to make up for Grant. They're not going to score more. And they won't uh resign here at least grant like the year that is true you know grant he wanted to be a piston lifer it felt like he wanted to be here for four more years so that I, that kind of is disappointing to know that you know a guy he came to a city like detroit he could have stayed in denver a playoff team he could have stayed in a comfortable position but he bet on himself and he came to a place like detroit he liked it here he wanted to stay here and then the fan base turned their backs on him everybody wanted to trade grant and then the pistons franchise got rid of him so it kind of is messed up, but, you know, that, that is, that's how it goes in the NBA. Things like this always happen. Bridges get burned. Um, I don't know if Grant, you know, I haven't seen him speak on this trade yet, but um, that's typically how it goes in the NBA. Someone's always going to be unhappy with these type of deals. Um, <laughs> watch he try to get Kyrie. If Kyrie Irving signs with the Detroit Pistons, I'll be so upset. I am not a fan of Kyrie Irving. I feel like he's kind of, I don't want to say a franchise killer, but... He's not a locker room type of guy, you feel me? Um, let me go to the next chat. 60 million in cap space would be crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. Um, he was a dark skin, Jason Tatum. Too nice, we need dogs. Um, they are not trading beef stew, guys. It's called com camaraderie. They may trade Kelly Olenek, though. If at all, they need some vets. I mean, I get what you're saying, but if if we have to do a signing trade to get DeAndre Ayton, if Stu was thrown in a deal, it wouldn't be the worst possible thing out there. Like I said, I like Isaiah Stewart. I think at his peak, he could be a starting center in the NBA, but if he has to get thrown in a deal to get someone like Ayton, I wouldn't be too upset with it, man. I really wouldn't. What's good, my guy, Allen Humphrey? Um, Come on, Gordon Hayward. You want Gordon Hayward on the Pistons? I don't know about that, man. I prefer to just go for Keegan Murray. Um, Y'all about to get Russ. Don't bring up Russell Westbrook, bro. <laughs> I don't want to hear Russell Westbrook or Kyrie Irving coming to the Pistons, man. Um, This has to be a move for Aiton. That's it. Um, I was hoping this was one of your Joe title streams. Nah, this is real. The Pistons traded Grant for a 2025 first round pick to the Portland Trailblazers, but I believe the rights is to the Milwaukee Bucks. So basically we have the Bucks pick, which is gonna be um, late in the first round. Oh, and then I also think, um, I saw we got some second round picks as well. Um, NBA rigged. <laughs> uh, no, we not pulling another Allen Iverson type of move. Mitchell Robinson, Mitchell, I, I, I like Mitchell Robinson before this deal because I felt like we could have got him for cheaper, but I saw a recent report that said Mitchell Robinson wants $20 million, which is nuts for a player like him. And now with all of this cap space, we might as well, you know, go big or go home with DeAndre Ayton. Joe, Josh Smith wasn't that good. Laugh out loud. Josh Smith was good in his mind. Smith was a early Westbrook when he came to shooting threes. The fans would nearly beg him to not shoot them regardless of how open he was. I said before um, Josh Smith got to the Pistons, he was good. To my, to best of my memory, when he was on the Atlanta Hawks, um, Josh Smith was a good basketball player. Now, at the time, I was a kid. I was very young, so maybe I overvalued him. But from my memory, I remember Josh Smith being a good player on the Atlanta Hawks. Um, hopefully, they working a draft night deal just in case someone they want falls at that seventh spot. Can we parcel? I don't even know what that word means, bro. <laughs> um, future picks for a second first rounder this year. So I, I assume from that context of your um, sentence there, are you trying to package multiple first round picks to move up in this draft? Is that what you're saying? How about Miles Bridges? It's, I got to see how much money the Charlotte Hornets have available. 
I think a few months ago, I saw somebody said that they don't have that much cap space. So I I'll look into that after this after this live stream. Um, let me see. Uh, this was the most horrible deal I've seen us make in the last few years. Now, I still think that Blake Griffin deal was worse than this one, man. You know, the writing was on the wall for what would have happened to Blake Griffin on the Pistons. Um, it's the Bucks 2025 top three protected and Giannis is signed through 2026. Yeah, that pick is not going to be valuable, man. Don't they have the fifth pick? The Pistons? Yeah, we still got the fifth pick. Bowl Bowl or Jordan Poole? Jordan Poole. It's not even close. Jordan Poole is a beast. Um, what's up, bro? Thanks for breaking the news. What's up, Spirit of Detroit? Top Detroit Lions YouTuber out there. My guy. Um, but if Beef honed on more th on three and assist. Oh, you're talking about Isaiah Stewart if he tried to. Oh, that's my guy, Curry. What's up, Curry? I talked to you a few times on Instagram, my guy. What's up? But um, talking about Isaiah Stewart if he tried to round out his game a little bit more. I mean, I guess. But DeAndre Ayton offensively. He's everything you would hope for someone like Isaiah Stewart to become. Now, I'm not trying to sit up here and say that Aiton is, you know, the greatest player ever or anything like that. Aiton, you know, he has a lot to be desired to his game, um, especially internally. I feel like, you know, his mind state, he doesn't have, you know, that dog in him. You feel me? If he had the dog inside of him, I felt like the Phoenix Suns could have went a lot further in this year's playoffs. So I'm not trying to say that, you know, Aiton is the greatest thing ever, but at the same time, let's... Let's not act like he's a slouch either. You know what I'm saying? Um, Y'all might be going after Donovan Mitchell. I don't see it happening. But then again, I didn't see this Grant thing happening. So don't think we should panic. Must be freeing cap um, space for Aiton, perhaps. Um, what's up, XO Screens? Aaron Hockey. Portland wins the trade. Yeah, I agree. They win this. They get a player who's going to help them push to the playoffs next year. You know, Damian Lillard, what is he, 31 years old right now? He's... Um, you know, to, moving towards the end of his prime, you want to get, you know, his best years out of him and getting a player like Grant will definitely help that. All good draft vibes ruined. And Troy, I mean, and Weaver, y'all trust. I still trust him, man. We have to see what else he does. And if he doesn't do anything, then I'm going to call him out. I'll make a full, like, 15, 20 minute rant video destroying Troy Weaver. But until then, I'm going to wait and see, bro. Why sign Bridges when you have Bay? Huh, that's a good question. But I feel like the same question could be asked. Why, why drive Keegan Murray when you have Sadiq Bay? I guess the thought process is having two players like that, you know, two guys who can play, um, who can score on offense, but at the same time be solid on defense. So the thought process is having two of those. And between having Keegan Murray or having Mouse Bridges, who won, like, which one would I prefer? That's a tough question. I would probably lean towards Miles Bridges because he's obviously proven in the NBA. But at the same time, I do believe that Keegan Murray has a lot of potential as well. Um, not a fan of the trade, but Weaver been trustworthy so far. That's my same thinking here. I don't like this trade right now. Still going to wait on it. But um, he his track record has shown me that I should continue to believe in him. Bridges is a four, Bay is a three. There you go. That answers the question. But then again, we still have Marvin Bagley. Um, and if we get Aiden, then I don't know what you do with Bagley. I don't know what you do with Stu. You know what I'm saying? You kind of have a log jam at the big position a little bit. Um, and the, the big and the forward position. You're going to have to find a way to make that, that work out. Um, let me see. As a Spurs fan, I think the trade benefits both teams but i do feel like the pistons could have gotten more for grant i'm going to continue to read your comment but i'm going to stop right there um this this idea of the pistons could have gotten more for grant i don't buy it this christian wood deal just showed you all that even players who can average 20 points per game or 15 points per game or however much points you know even though they're having success on a bad team like grant and wood it doesn't mean that on the open market you're going to get you know, a lot of assets in return for them. So honestly, I don't think we could have gotten any better for training Grant. That's That was my thing this whole year when it came to the discussion on should we have or should we have not traded Jeremy Grant. Um, all right, as a Spurs fan, I think the trade benefits both teams, but I do feel like the Pistons could have gotten more for Grant. 
Grant was averaging 19 points and his defense was underrated. Blazers win this, in my opinion. I agree with basically everything you said, except I don't think we could have gotten more. I think this is the best thing, the best deal you could have gotten for Grant. Grant is way better than Sharon Sharp and, oh, Shaden Sharp and Ivy because he is already proven. Yeah. Um, a 6'6 power forward and Miles Bridges, no thanks. He only 6'6? I thought he was like 6'8 or something. Um, Pistons may reroute the 2025 and 2022 um, for the fourth pick this year and have back-to-back -back picks. Hmm, doubt it, but interesting, Joe. Lonnie Hooper. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if the Pistons did somehow get the fourth pick and then let's say we take Keegan Murray and Jaden Ivey, something like that, that would be pretty fire. And then sign DeAndre Ayton in free agency, that would be crazy, but... Um, maybe that's a little, you know, fantasy land. Maybe that's a little NBA 2K style of things. I don't know. Um, very interesting comment made by Murray. I fear nothing. Um, let me see. What are y'all? We are taking steps backwards. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't think we're taking, I mean, this, this is a bad deal, but I just, I have to see what we do in free agency, man. We ain't gonna get nobody but these <laughs> these rookies. Troy is clueless. Dang, y'all really just gave up on Troy Weaver like that? That's wild. That's wild to me. Y'all not gonna wait till free agency to see, you know, what else he does? Just got here. What you think, Joe? Um, Sade McDennis. Um, my quick little opinion on this. I think that this is a bad trade, but I'm gonna continue to be. I'm gonna wait until free agency um, to decide whether or not I'm gonna you know, turn my back on Troy Weaver, like some of these people are um, in the chat. Do you move Olenek then resign? That's another thing I forgot about. So you mean to tell me we might have Kelly Olenek, Aiton, Bagley, and Stewart? Somebody gonna have to go, man. <laughs> I know I've been complaining about us not having a true big man, but somebody gotta go. That's That doesn't look, you know, I think you can only have a limit of 15 players in the NBA roster. So somebody on this team is going to have to get moved. Um, why ain't we trade the bum Corey Joseph? I mean, what? He's only getting $5 million per year right now. Um, and then I think he had a player option. So it's not like we re-sign him intentionally. But then again, when you give him a player option, I guess that's the case. But at the same time, I don't know. Did the Pistons, were we the ones to sign Corey Joseph or did somebody else sign Corey Joseph and then we traded or signed him? I don't know. Um, Ashton just replied to my tweet. I said he knows things and can't say anything. It burning him, it's burning him inside and he commented. That's what's up, Nick. Ashton is a cool dude, man. He be interacting with the community a lot. But um, I've been on here for half an hour now, 30 minutes. Um, I'm about to go talk to my girl and I'll see y'all later. So... Uh, video dropping tomorrow, full breakdown video. I appreciate everybody who came in here um, and joined the live stream. I just wanted to quickly, you know, talk Pistons, interact with the community, and I will see you guys in the videos tomorrow and the draft on Thursday. So peace out, y'all.